uh, some day ago uh, you got sick right yeah. oh. okay <laughs> so uh, it's better now yeah yeah now I can share my screen You see my screen now? It's now? Yeah, yeah. It is the top level of the camera module. And uh, in the top level, we divide it into uh, three parts. Three parts. Three parts. Uh, let me comment. There are, there are three parts. The first is a uh, uh, cam camera controller. Second part is the buffer. For the data buffer, last part is a uh, display controller. Okay, uh, in the camera camera controller, we buy it into two parts. Uh, the first part is the um, camera configuration uh, that's uh, in this uh, part we will we will set uh, make the setting sorry sorry okay, okay. Uh, make the uh, setting by uh, e uh, i to c uh, controller the second part is the uh, second part is the uh, camera camera data capture. These two part. Uh, in the data buffer, we also have two part. The first part is the right from camera data capture and the second part is a read from the display controller okay and the last part is uh, into uh, uh, two parts For the first part is uh, generating uh, uh, synchronize signal uh, to control VGA and HDMI. Uh, the second part is the uh, VGA. The second part is a hard uh, HDMI controller. Yeah, Th that's all thing uh, we need to see. So uh, I will go to the cam camera configuration and camera data capture first. Okay, as you can see here, we have the uh, camera uh, controller here. It's is the cam camera configuration in the configuration we have the sub module is the uh, uh, e2c yeah e2c i2c i2c and in the i2c uh, in, in the camera controller here we will have the 
yeah here you can see the just this register and, and here is the data data we need to write into camera by it i to see here and h h of h of a data here will be will be pardon uh we will go on by data siege data siege the treat of count camera and we need to see the configuration of data of camera of camera to add it okay yes from the data sheet data sheet. yes so uh, so it will be process process to write the data into i to see here here is a sub model to state machine of i to see uh, to write the data into camera if you want to go to detail in in this uh, module i need to uh, simulate it again mm, yeah uh i think i i i need to uh, uh read again and and also uh, uh, it's very difficult to explain about this part i3 c2 Uh, intelligent e to c control e. um uh, for my understanding um i don't think it's uh, intelligent more it's uh, so complex and uh, if if i try it i only need to write very simple e to c controller we don't need to uh, either they they are right if like uh, control uh, like cpu uh, of color but uh, i think we don't need it but uh, but uh, finally it uh, can uh, can configure the camera and uh, we if we want to can we want to improve the code uh, like you want to uh, to improve uh, the resolution or uh, speed of camera or something like that we only to change the, the register here and we don't care about the e uh, to see yeah it is a sum model it is a function and uh, we don't need to care it we only need to to control the data in here yeah another part of the another part of uh, camera controller is a uh, camera data capture like, like you want to explain uh yeah capture here okay uh so each of each, each of the d out uh, is a trial bit will be right into x address of program x address of, uh, of data buff data buffer is a program um, so so um, so we need to to uh, uh, to uh, populate the data from eight bit because uh, input we um, our input is only eight bit right but uh, we need to 12 bit we need to try 12 bit so we need to um, two clock cycle to 
yeah to uh is is uh we need to to club cycle to uh, uh populate and concent uh and take all of the trial bit as you can see here in the cycle zero we have the uh, first eight bit first is it includes uh, uh five bit red and uh, three bit green yeah in the next next cloud cycle uh we have the next uh, three bit green and uh, five bit blue so we have the um uh yeah 16 bit 16 bit yeah yeah but uh, for the for our uh, camera we only need to 12 bit for our uh, output of uh, output of uh, VGA or HDMI, we only need to uh, to four bits of each uh, color. So we only need to try. We only need to store twelve bit. So here is the reason why we need to twelve bit. Pardon. Fifty seven, fifty seven. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, cycling to cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and after after cycle one, after cycle one we um uh, when we have the all of the uh they are 16 bit and next cycle we will have the dr here yeah yeah the 12 12 bit and in 12 bit here we will write into first address first address and uh, the next address will be increased this will be this the address we will write the next data and this address we will write uh, the the current address this data will be write into current address okay okay and uh, if you want to uh, see more detail you will read uh, the code And next is a uh, data buffer. Data buffer uh, is just only one mode. Yes, it's a program, and we will store all of the. We will. We will store uh, the whole frame, the whole frame, uh, with the uh, full resolution, like. Uh, like uh, uh, 640 by uh, 480 uh, pixels okay so we have the two channel of the program the first channel is uh, from um, from uh, capture Cap yeah we have the control we have the address dl and write enable uh when we control the right channel of the program and uh, the next next will be read um what what do you so uh we have a question here uh do you think why we need to store all of the image uh, our first 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 question is that uh, why do we need to store image why will why don't we uh, wire wire from uh, capture to uh, HDMI or VGA yes I mean diary diary 
yeah yeah why do we need to buffer what do you think nope i don't think yeah because uh, uh when we don't have the frame buffer we don't need to generate address and we only need to generate the dl and yeah right enable directly and uh, direct directly into the hdmi and vj controller and you direct directly the the monitor uh, is it still okay why do we need the frame buffer <laughs> do you think it's wasted Mm, but why why do we need to store to store a uh, host name a uh, sam sample we don't need to store a sample because we can directly uh, yeah what do you think yeah 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 please uh, this is very interesting Slower. Yes, the, I, I think it's uh, one of the reason, uh, one of reason, uh, but in case of, in case of uh, the that data, out, data output from camera, it's the same as uh, data input of uh, HDMI or VGA. Yeah. What do you think that we need it? We need the frame buffer. What do you think? Uh, we need to the frame buffer in case of uh, the speed of camera is the same as speed of HDMI. Yes, same. Yes, same. So, why do you need? Uh -huh. This meant uh, this because uh, let, let me draw draw for you. Draw, you will see more clear. Uh, we have the camera, right? So we also have the exchange and vaccine uh, signal synchronization, right? We have the exchange from the camera and vaccine from camera. Yes, and we have the exchange of uh, VJ and version of VJ. So the problem, although although uh, camera can can output can output sixty frame per second, and VJ so 
60 frame per second but we we still need we still need frame buffer because because the start of frame of camera is different start of frame of uh, visual so cannot directly uh, wire Frame speed is is the same. Frame speed same, but you mean that start of frame, start of frame. I mean that uh, for for example, we see the cam cam camera we like this. Right, but the VZ here, yes, it has a delay. So here, here is a pixel one. But here is a pixel. No, 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 no. Here, here VZ will be pixel. Pixel, uh, 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 yeah, the last pixel. So we cannot directly the data of pixel one to the pixel uh, and uh, and pixel very different of pixel. So we cannot directly wire data. So we need to frame buffer. Okay. For we have the address of of um, address of frame. So pixel one of camera output will be read by pixel one because hey, we have the same address. We have the uh, pixel one, so we we have the correct frame. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, let, let, let me let me let me please wait me a moment. Okay. Yeah. So the last part, the last part will be display display controller. And display controller, we have the two part. The the main the, the one part is the scene signal. Scene signal is generated here. We have the A scene and V scene. Yeah, it's the most important thing. And the A scene and V scene. Um, uh, we generate following the uh, the um, resolution here. Uh, the display uh, of uh, uh, horizontal line is uh, uh, 640, and display of that vertical is uh, 480. Okay. Okay, and it's a uh, very basic. So uh, so we. Only need 
we only need a, a counter of a horizontal and counter of, a, of a vertical yeah yeah so after, so uh, uh, we meet the condition and uh, make the edge scene and have the yeah and we also have the the active area active area is a risk active area is the active the display part of the image and it will be the read enable a frame buffer okay so uh, data from frame buffer will be directly uh, directly go to let me see yeah yeah frame buffer Yeah, it will be uh, go to the. Uh, I think we don't need to this model. Yeah, uh, just only uh, um, separate the bit of uh, data into the into RGB. Yeah, into RGB and uh, Y into VJ. Okay. And the last part is a HDMI controller. Um, the HDMI controller uh, cons consists of uh, three models. It's a convert. Um, this part is convert. Uh, uh, you remember that we have the 12 bit RGB, right? So, so now we will convert into um into the four to two mm. yeah four to two yeah mm. this part uh, actually i also uh don't understand so much but uh, yeah yeah but um, but we need to we there are two important part we need to see yeah the uh, there are three three uh, file here but we don't care a lot of about it we, we only care we only care about the input of has S scene and V scene and it will it will um, decide decide the resolution of the uh, HDMI. If if S scene and V scene is for um, yeah yeah is for uh, six hundred forty and by uh, four hundred eighty, the the image of HDMI will be like that, and if the S and V uh, support the different resolution. We will have the different image, so we only care about it. We need care about the input here. RGB, okay, and S and V and data enable. So we will fed into three, three model, and we will have the output. And yeah, there are some basic yeah. Uh, um, basic model so I think we don't need to get it. that's all thing of uh, camera controller yeah yeah you you should uh, this uh, the overview and uh, some detail and uh, if you want to to go detail I I think you need to uh, simulate it again and here is a top uh, level design uh, test band uh, you can uh, go to simulate here and see each of the um, cloud cycle okay okay
Okay, okay. No problem. I think I don't need. Uh, I I only need to that. So I will send you in Skype. Okay. So um, I will start the PS PS uh, design, and we have the snapshot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this design we cannot um, have the snapshot because the uh, uh, frame buffer here we use a program, and program we only only store one frame in that, and if you want to store uh, two or ten and twelve frame is cannot. This yeah. Pardon? Ah, artist sport is uh, is okay because uh, in artist sport uh, we we can directly uh, control the DDR3 RAM. Yeah, so we also uh, we we can store the image into the different um, different part of RAM. Yeah, so we can start it. It's no problem, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, well, please ask me. I uh, know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Uh, let, let, let me ask you about the the uh, Malab Simulay. Uh, do you have any, any project about that? Um, because uh, right now I have uh, a stop. I have a staff. Uh, I have a staff of my uh, company. So uh, in Vietnam, so uh, he is an expert about the Malab simulation and generate the Malab code to VTL or VLO. Yeah, yeah. So if you have any project in that, please uh, uh, ping me. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, did uh, the company discuss with you about the? Uh, ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Uh -huh. Uh, I think you are really hardworking person. So, thanks uh, with you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. And see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good night. See you.